Welcome back, folks, and thanks for sticking with us on this Sunday morning. I hope you all are having a fantastic Thanksgiving weekend, enjoying some leftover pie, maybe some leftover turkey, whatever you enjoy this weekend. Well, joining us up next, we are talking about more food, if you can believe it, but we are talking about a fundraising event, which you definitely want to be a part of. We are joined by the Donna Lions Club. We have Ernie Salinas, who is the president, and Jesus Jesse Rivera. You are the vice president. Thank you both so much for coming in today. I'm the second vice president. Second vice yes, president. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much for having us. We enjoy yes. that. So tell me a little bit about the Lions Club, or the Donna's Lions Club, and what you all are, what you all do. Uh, well, the Lions Club is an international club, and it's over 100 years old. In Donna, it was started in 1938, so we're 80 years old. Uh, our motto is we serve. Mm -hmm. We serve the community and uh, surrounding areas, too. And uh, we have different fundraisers during the year. <clears throat> in Donna, we have about four during the year and uh, like I said we're nonprofit mm -hmm. every penny that's raised goes toward the community in some way or another uh, we have a lot of um, projects that we support uh, teach the children scholarships um, you just the list is so long uh, but we're a very active group uh, we're not a large group we're about 25 or 30 members uh, but uh, we're there to serve the community, like I said, in, in any way that we possibly can. Fantastic. That's really great. And so it does go back to the community. Right. And so what are some of the other fundraisers that you've hosted this year? Well, we have, besides the spaghetti that's coming up mm -hmm. on December the 8th, uh, we do have a uh, golf tournament that's in March. Mm -hmm. And we have a, uh, a top sirloin barbecue that's... Uh, it's our most famous barbecue fundraiser we have during the year because it's uh, all you can eat corn a cup and uh, the top sirloin and very well served. Uh, we get a large crowd and we get a lot of support from our winter Texans from Donna mm -hmm. in the surrounding area. They like to come and entertain. So we have jam sessions there. We have uh, silent auctions. Uh, uh, it, we have a lot of fun because when the jam starts, the winter Texans like to dance. So they all yeah. get up and start dancing around. And so we all have, make it a good time for everybody. And, and we do have a very good crowd that comes down and supports our, our, that fundraiser. And um, I think that's, we have small raffles and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. uh, our major ones are the spaghetti and the uh, golf tournament and the top sword line barbecue. Okay. Yes. This this year we're including a raffle mm -hmm. um, at the spaghetti dinner as well, so we're selling tickets and we're selling tickets for the spaghetti dinner, which is eight dollars a ticket, and we're also selling uh, raffle tickets, which is one ticket for three dollars, or two for five, and and we have right now we have like ten items that we're raffling off. Mm -hmm. So you buy a ticket, you know you have ten chances, at yeah. least ten chances to win something. Awesome. Uh, so we would love for everybody to come and join us. Um, but aside from the, the fundraising, you know, we do, like uh, President Ernie said, we do have a lot to do with the community, a lot of services we provide. One of the largest and biggest things that the Lions Club in general does is vision screening. Mm -hmm. And so we've done a lot of promotion for uh, the blind, the uh, vision impaired, and so forth. And uh, in, our, in our club, uh, PDG, which is past uh, district governor, Cesar Montelongo, he's in charge of, of the vision. He's been doing it for like five years. Mm -hmm. um, I asked him what the numbers are. This year alone in 2018, in our district, it's 18,000 vision screenings. Wow. And most of those are children. Mm -hmm. uh, they travel throughout the valley and, um, and do vision screenings, and those are free. They're easy, they're painless, and they're, they're free to this district and to the child. So we're doing everything, you know, yeah, to definitely. help to help them, mm -hmm. and and it's um, the vision screening. Uh, it's very simple, very mm -hmm. quick, and it, and then they get a printout. Um, depending on the result, they'll they'll get referred, or they don't have to go see an optometrist, you know. Wow. So that's one of the great things that that we try and do. 
yeah, and definitely. continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, and that's so important, you know, mm -hmm. your, your, your vision health in general, and that's mm -hmm. great that you guys have mm -hmm. been doing this for years already and kind mm -hmm. of continuing to do that, which is so, so helpful, and it's great. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about uh, what you guys enjoy doing kind of on a day-to-day -day basis with the club. I know you guys meet and you guys tend to kind of plan out different fundraisers. Are you mm -hmm. working for different events throughout the community? Or how does that work? Well, we, um, I'm the new community president. I was in, uh, installed in July. Mm -hmm. And I came with a vision because I wanted certain goals to be accomplished uh, since we have a small club. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided to come up with an agenda mm -hmm. that I want to follow. And we follow very closely because we only have an hour to meet and some of our members work and they come to the meetings. We meet at noon mm -hmm. on Thursdays at Panchitos in Donna. So they only have so much time to come and participate in our meetings. So I uh, form committees, uh, fundraising, scholarships, uh, socials, and uh, different types of committees. And, and I appoint a person to share each committee and I assign members to each one of those committees. And, so every time we, when we have our meetings, one of the first things that I ask during the agenda is, do we have any reports from our committees? What mm -hmm. are you doing right now? Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, it's very hard to keep, kind of keep track. And uh, our club has been very active as far as uh, uh, participating with the community. Uh, we do the caroling at the nursing homes and uh, uh, parades, mm -hmm. we put in parades. Uh, because I want the club to be more visible. Because mm -hmm. sometimes people come and say, we don't know there's a dance club, in, a dance club in Donna, and there is, and we're active. And, uh, and that's one of my main goals, is to be out there in the community, so we know that we're there. And the best part about our club is that, in, in the community of Donna, we have a lot of RE parts. So now our winter Texans are in, mm -hmm. and some of them are Lion members up north, so they okay. come and join us for our meetings also. Mm -hmm. So awesome. that, it makes us a little bit more interesting mm -hmm. and uh, more active, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we welcome them. You know, we welcome all those Lions from up north that come down to Donna, and, and uh, we welcome them to come to our meetings and participate in our meetings. Or the more the merrier. Of you course, know? <laughs> of course. Now, with becoming a member, are there any requirements, any age requirements, anything of that sort? None, none. Wow, we do okay. have, uh, we sponsor what we call a Leo Club at Donna North High School mm -hmm. and Donna High School. And those, that's the youth. And those are, uh, they start, I think it's 13 on up till they graduate. And so those are our future Lion mm -hmm. members. So we sponsor that team. and. Whenever we have a fundraiser like spaghetti, they'll come and help serve, uh, or attend our customers and everything. So they're very active also, but that's part of their uh, requirements as far as graduation plan. Of course. So uh, as our, our Donna North Club has about 25 or 30 members, and uh, the Donna High School, we just turned them up, and hopefully by January we'll have initiation for both clubs at one time. Awesome. and get them initiated into our, the Leo Club, what yeah. we call. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Well, let's get some information about the fundraiser you did mention before we go. Let's get all the dates out there and times and prices just one more time for people who might be just tuning in so that yes. they can make their way out there for the spaghetti yeah. dinner. The mm -hmm. spaghetti dinner will be on December 8th, and it'll be held from 11.30 to 2.30. And we do have live entertainment. The Donna North Conjunto will be performing as well as uh, Frank Brown. And so if uh, he mentioned the Winter Texans, Winter Texans will know who Frank Brown is. Mm -hmm. um, he's well known in the community. And so our tickets are $8. Raffle tickets, again, are $3 for one and $5 for two tickets. Mm -hmm. So please come out and join us and uh, give us some support. Yeah, yeah of you course. And I do want to mention that it's all you can eat spaghetti. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Plus garlic bread, mm, yum. salad. Delicious. And this year we added a dessert. Okay. So a good dessert too. So come on out and You're making it tempting. Yeah. I know he's, <laughs> he's convincing me. You folks heard that out there. So definitely 
Come on out December 8th. For more information, you could go ahead and call 784-1433. It's giving back to a great cause, of course, to help the community. So I want to thank you both so much for thank coming you. in today. I greatly appreciate thank it. Thank you for the vision it. screening. You can contact PDG. Perfect. Yep. Yes, of course, most definitely. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. Thank you for thank having you. us. All right, folks. Well, when we come back, we have information on how you can save a life and be a match. We'll be right back.